back to my channel. Today I have a mid-June message for all of the Virgos out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Virgo out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Virgo, Let's go ahead and dive right into your mid-June message. So Virgo, we are starting out with the cosmos. Go outside and time to go. Okay, Virgo, I feel like you need to spend a little bit more time outdoors. I feel like you're needing to get a little bit more fresh air um, and you're really needing to see the beauty that is around you. I feel like some of you might be indoors a lot, myself included, and you're needing to sort of spend time outdoors so that you could be more connected to the cosmos, be more connected to your inner sense of creativity and understand the vastness of everything around you and see how vast you actually are. So this is, I feel like, this is what you're really needing. So Virgo, I feel that your message about go outside is really because it's wanting you to see how interconnected you are to everything around you. Understand how vast you are and how connected you are to the cosmos and how you fit into each and everything. And I feel that this is your next step. The time to go is very interesting here for you, Virgo, because I do feel that this is their way of letting you know that you're heading the next phase of your internal growth, right? Or your spiritual growth. And I feel that this has something to do with Mother Earth, maybe Mother Nature, um, maybe um, expanding your own awareness uh, galactically, whatever that might be. I just feel that this is their way of letting you know it's time and it's time for you to take the next step. So let's dive into the Tarot here to get a little bit more information here. So we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles here really is referencing the amount of time and energy that you're putting into things that you are working on or things that, you know, you're um, focusing on, right? I think that it's time, the time has come for you to truly reflect um, and really ask yourself, you know, is it really worth my time and energy to put my focus and attention on this? So it's almost like you're needing to really examine, um, you know, the things that you are doing and what you're actually focusing on. Is it really worth your while? Are you really benefiting from it? Are you getting what you really truly want out of it? And if not, then this is, and I feel that spending time outdoors, spending time with nature, being connected to nature is really what's going to help you take the next step or maybe move into the next phase of your evolution, right? I feel a lot of times when it comes to the six of pentacles, now this could be money related for some of you, right? Maybe some of you um, aren't really putting in enough of your finances into the things that you ultimately want to see grow. And I feel like maybe their message to you here is, you know, if you're wanting to see change in the things that bring you money, you have to be willing to take that next step. You have to be willing to recognize that you have the potential to move beyond where you are, okay? It's very interesting that that's the message that I'm getting here with just these two cards because when we think of the cosmos, we think about how everything was created, how we were created, and how our creation is connected to everything else that is around us. Like I often find myself thinking about that, like how we are all so interconnected and how everything is just a part of everything. And I feel that what they're really wanting you to understand is that maybe going outside and getting some fresh air, clearing your thoughts, and will help you 
sort of get that insight, that guidance that you ultimately need here. So we now have the star card with the magician. Look at that. Okay, this is beautiful. The star card really speaks about our sense of, of healing, right? It often speaks about um, recognizing. Here's what I find interesting. This particular star card really talk, uh, really looks like it's looking up into the galaxy. And you got the cosmos card here, right? So I feel like you're needing to see how you are connected um, to the cosmos. I feel like the message here is that there is far much more to you than meets the eye here, Virgo. And you're needing this, this inspiration. And I feel that by being out in nature and being out under the stars will give you the inspiration and the insight that you need. It's going to give you the guidance that you need to sort of reference how um, how um, connected you are to everything. The star card really speaks about, you know, being inspired, recognizing that your dreams can come true. But if you don't spend time out in nature to allow creativity to surround you, it's going to be really hard for you to create that sense of inspiration, right? The magician is all about utilizing your your resources and and connecting to that and being a part of that and i feel that you're uh, again i i just feel here uh virgo that you're you're moving to the next phase yeah look at this you're moving to the next phase here i think it's time that you face um maybe some deep dark secrets about yourself that have not been revealed to you. I feel like there there's something still within you here, Virgo, that you are not fully 100% aware of. And this is what's going to, once this secret becomes revealed, I feel that once this secret comes to light about who you are, and, and this is just what I'm going to say. I feel that what this is saying here, Virgo, is that there is something more that you are not aware of about yourself and about why you are here, Virgo, that I feel is going to be revealed to you very soon, okay? I do feel it's going to happen very soon because we have a 41 and a 45. So kind of what I'm getting here is, give, give me a moment here because I feel like there's something really deep that is coming in and I, and I want it to fully process because I feel like you are about to level up to a level that is going to be so unattainable by others. And I don't think that you are fully prepared for this. I feel that if you're 45 right now, I feel that I feel, I honestly, I feel that, that by the time you transition from 45 to 46, if this is like your age, because I do, I feel this has to do with age here. I feel that between the ages of 41 and 45, you had like a massive glow up, like something just magically changed. Everything sort of changed between the ages of 41 and 45, right? And you sort of decided for yourself that there was something else that you wanted out of your life here, Virgo, that you wanted to really grasp and you wanted to reach for. And you made that happen. You made it happen. So now the next phase of your evolution as you grow spiritually here, Virgo, is that a new secret is going to be revealed to you that is going to just completely make you... Um, I'm not going to lie. It's going to kind of scare you a little bit here, Virgo, but I do feel that it's going to make you truly understand your purpose and you're just going to rise. I mean, literally just rise to it. So let's dive a little bit deeper here um, to see where else this is going. Cause I, I feel that this is truly 
something that is going to happen um, as you transition from 45 to 46. Yes. Okay. 45 reduces to a nine, which is an ending, right? So if you're currently at the age of 45 right now, Virgo, understand that your life is going to completely change overnight. And it's going to change once you turn 46, because 46 is a 10, and it's an entirely new beginning. Again, this secret, whatever this secret is, this is the secret to how you become wealthy, how you learn to be all that you can be, as well as being giving proficiently, like being balanced and, and putting your energy in all the right places. And I feel that this secret um, is really about you um, really understanding your own wisdom, right? The king of pentacles here really speaks about, you know, being, so one thing that stands out to me about the king of pentacles is that they're a lone wolf, right? They often stand out and nobody, it's, it's almost like when they stand out, it's like no one can achieve what they can achieve, but they're generous. They are so generous. A king of pentacles is really about making the most of their assets, right? And I feel that whatever gets revealed to you, you're going to look at it from a perspective of, I can do this, right? And this is going to lead you towards an entirely new beginning that I don't even feel that you yourself are prepared for here, Virgo. I feel that this, this new beginning is going to offer you lots of opportunities or lots of options that you're going to have to choose from. And again, I feel that you'll choose from the heart. You, I think you'll make conscious choices here. Now you have the King of Swords. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the King of Swords here is really about understanding and taking charge. Okay. I feel this is your, if you've been wondering how you move from one phase of something to another phase and my ear, my left ear is ringing. Okay. So again, Virgo, I feel that what this is truly saying is that you need to take charge of your action steps when this comes about, because you are going to be leaving something behind. Um, but understand that by leaving this thing behind, by walking away from something, um, again, I feel this is once this secret becomes revealed, once this secret reveals itself to you about your next phase, your next step, I feel that you're going to be okay about walking away from something. You're going to have to let something go in order for you to truly take charge and make the most of your assets. I, again, I feel like if you're trying to become successful in something, you're having to look at everything that you are putting energy into and really make your, make it very clear here, Virgo, that, you know what, I can't do everything. And so because I can't do everything, I have to be willing to let go of something in order to find, you know, balance and to be stable so that I can really concentrate on the four things that make me the happiest and that are going to help me build more of my future. Yeah, so I, I feel like whatever these four things are, I feel like you're only going to be working on four things. There are, there's going to be four things here that you are going to be putting forth a lot of energy and a lot of effort into that are going to truly make you successful here, Virgo. And those four things are going to be the things that you ultimately have to choose. It's going to make you the happiest, but this is what you are meant to do. So Virgo, I wish I could give you more insight. This is actually very intriguing because I myself am a Virgo and I myself have been having a lot of questions that I've been asking my guides for on what's the next step. So Virgo, this is your message this mid-June. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.